Okay, I told you I'd uh, bring you back and show you some of the uh, solar upgrade we were doing. We uh, added two 300 amp uh, 12 volt lithium batteries. Hard to remember sometimes. Uh, so we have four total now. Uh, so that makes it 24 volts. That's going to make us 600 amp hours. Uh, and it says on the shunt that it is about enough for two days right now running uh, currently like we are. Uh, the air conditioner is at 70 degrees and it's running. It says we can do it for two days. Now the uh, solar panels has got two and a quarter kilowatts. Uh, it's 2,225 watts of solar panels on top. Um, it absolutely will make more power than we can possibly run during the day. So it will recharge the batteries and um, run everything we're trying to run during the day. All right. I got uh, some pictures, maybe some video from where I did the shelves in the front with the batteries laying in the floor, seeing how big they are. Anyway, it's this entire panel right here, this whole cabinet. I built this specifically for lithium batteries when we built this trailer. Um, they had two and I want to add two later. We now have four. It is absolutely full. Um, you really can't see to tell how deep it is but there is four of these batteries stacked in here and they are massive that is uh a charger in case i ever needed to plug in um we need to be on shore power to charge these back up just didn't have uh the sun to do it i really don't see it happening but anyway that's a 12 or 24 volt victron charger and as you can see we uh we got two off cable um it just it doesn't get warm at all, not even to the touch. Put everything on bus bars and the shunt is down in here. The green cable is coming from the charge controllers. There's two of them and they're running in here and go to the bus bar on the positive and the negative side. You can hear it, you can hear it kicking in and out because it's pulling on it running air conditioner right now. Anyway, it's a 3000 watt pure sign wave inverter and we've got big fuse in there and a master disconnect. That's pretty much all in this cabin. It gets pretty warm in there when it's running so we have to keep it vented. Really that's a, about it for the upgrade. We were only good for about one day before and now it says that the current rate of discharge right now we're good for one day and five hours. So you know 30 hours basically is what we're good for right now if we maintain running air conditioner non-stop with all the lights running and the fridge by the way is running right this minute uh it is getting dark and you can see that we're not pulling any solar in at this point but uh during the day uh, you can see solar array one and solar array two uh sometimes they'll be running as high as a thousand watts a piece uh, they'll be pumping in uh 30 30 amps sometimes a piece so uh, we're just not ever going to run out of power unless we have a few days of really bad weather and uh, just don't learn how to use our batteries to to keep up. We're just going to have to learn to conserve power if that happens, but I really don't see that being an issue. So anyway, I told you I'd bring you along and uh, show you what all was going on, and that's pretty much it. That is our solar setup. The uh, rest of it is outside in the uh, front compartment. And I will show you that right quick. Well, like I said, it is getting dark outside, so not making much power. But in here you have breakers and we have two charge controllers. The breakers are just for safety. Uh, they are both on. And then down here we have uh, more fuses just for safety. And that's what actually goes to the batteries in case there was a short. And then all of this other... Electrical stuff is a transfer switch, the 12 volt, uh, the 110, uh, the touchpad stuff. This is how we have them arranged. Uh, we actually made these stickers ourselves. We have a print and graphic shop, so we made these stickers, but that's uh, how the uh, solar arrays are on the roof. And this is what they're actually rated for each panel. 
for the geeks out here that wants to know what they are, the 375 watt panels, and you can see all the stats on there. Just pause the TV and you can see it. And you can see there's six panels up there. Um, they make a total of uh, 2,225 watts. And it runs everything. It is uh, plugged up to shore power right now because I've had some of it disconnected, but it is running on solar. If I ran out of battery, it will switch to shore power. Now, this is your typical RV setup. We have the 110 panel with a 12 volt in it. Then you have uh, all of your levels for your tanks, battery, and uh, pump. We don't use the battery side of it because we are on lithium, so it's a separate standalone system. Uh, and then uh, the touch pad there operates all the lights inside and outside. This is what it looks like when it's all closed up. Nobody has any idea what's in there and it uh, just tucked away doing its job. Okay, I hope everybody got something out of this. I know that it's, uh, it's not really a uh, show you how I did it video. It's more of a uh, upgrade video. If uh, if I can help you, uh, leave comments below and I will uh, answer your questions. I do not know everything about solar. Uh, however, I've learned quite a bit putting this one together and it works really well. So uh, if you need any help and I can help you, I will certainly do it. And if not, I'll try to lead you in the right direction where I got most of mine from. And uh, about half of it was from YouTube and the other was just uh, from talking to uh, various people in the solar business and uh, they all helped me out and told me what I needed. Uh, it's a pretty expensive venture, but if you're gonna truly do boondocking and you wanna be free to go wherever you wanna go and have all the luxuries of home, there is no substitute. Running a generator is noisy, you gotta take gas, it smells. Uh, this just does what it does and you never have to think about it really. We now have enough lith lithium that uh, we should be able to comfortably go two to three days uh, it says right now to run like 30 hours and everything's running wide open. Well, it doesn't do that 24-7, so we should be good to go. All right, if I, if you like this, give me the thumbs up. Uh, if you didn't like it, give me the thumbs down, I guess. I hope you liked it. Uh, if you haven't subscribed so far, please think about doing so. It uh, helps us out and gets the scene a little better. And if you want to see some more tips and some more projects that I'm doing, hit the bell. Well, I got to go. I got to go back to working on the sink project now. I'm putting cabinets and uh, organizers under it. So maybe I'll do a video about that and share that with you a little later on. So for now, make each day count 365 and continue the journey. And we'll see you a little later. Bye-bye.